Today's Memorial Day, good folks. Good morning to everyone. Take this time out of the day to think about the good folks who have committed their life, who have given their life, and are still serving this country, still serving you and I. So we were able to sleep last night with no bombs dropping on our head. We were able to sleep last night with no one trying to invade our country. We were able to sleep last night so all of us can enjoy all the freedoms that we have in this country. And I know they're not perfect. Don't get over here wrong. I know they're not perfect. But I don't know nowhere in the country, in the world, where it is perfect at. We got our problems. And we probably got some more problems, some rough patches, some rough patches to go through coming up ahead here. But it's important that we remember one thing. A house divided mean a house apart. But right now, let this day be a day that the house come together and take some time out to appreciate those who are serving us, who have served us, who have committed to us, who have given us the freedom that we now have. That if we don't mess, we don't mind our mind, we may not have tomorrow, but today we do. Find an old person, an elder, I like to say, to go talk to today. Find a veteran, but most important, find an old person, an elder to go just spend five minutes to talk to. Let them know that you appreciate them. But most of all, just find the elder you can go listen to. Sometimes our old folks just need somebody to talk to. All right? So I'm not going to say enjoy this Memorial Day. I'm just going to say do this Memorial Day in remembrance. Okay, like the Bible say. Do this in remembrance. So do this Memorial Day in remembrance. All right? Now I'm going to leave y'all here with a little talk I had with Miss Mary. Miss Mary is one of the elders that live in the community. Like over here tells y'all, I stop by, I talk to the elder. Most of all, I stop by and just listen to them because sometimes they got things that they want to say then especially when they live alone. I used to call it starving to talk. So yesterday I stopped by Miss Mary and I wish I'd have cut my little record on earlier because I like to hear folks' story. And I want some of you youngins out there to hear some of the elders' stories. Now Miss Mary is like 88 years old and she still gets outside and gets in her yard and do her yard work. She don't let nothing slow her down. And if I don't see her in that yard for a day or two, I get worried. But here's a conversation with old head and Miss Mary. I think Miss Mary is about 88 years old. So it ain't nothing spectacular, it ain't nothing fancy. Just what y'all should be doing. Finding an old person and just stop and just listen to them, listen to their story. All right now, on this Memorial Day, y'all be good and try to be better. Proceeded to have six children and, uh, you know, uh, they were, they, they, they grew up in Pennsylvania. Hmm. But you said your, your mother was in your life, but I thought you said that they brought 
you down here, your daughter. My my birth mother and my adopted mother had a very close relationship. That was part of the adoption agreement. That it would be my adopted mother's decision when to tell me, or my adopted parents, when to tell me that I was adopted. But they'd always, you know, she... When my, when, when my birth mother told me, I knew that I was adopted hmm. and I knew my birth mother, she said, oh. and I knew immediately who it was because it was the one person throughout my life that I always got a Valentine's Day card from or an ah. Easter card from, you know, from Pennsylvania, you know, even though she had a family, we were told we were. And, and the kids, when they started coming along, and, and you know, my parents, they'd visit. We'd, we'd go up to that area every, every year. Some years we'd visit them, some years we wouldn't. But we knew each other as distant cousins. Mm. You know, like third, fourth cousins. How are we related? <laughs> you know, and you're, you're a kid. Who cares? You just want to go play. You want to go play. That's and, it. And, yeah. and, and when I'd go up there, I remember I was about 12 years old and my parents left me there while they visited other relatives in Pennsylvania, left me with them. And of course, I, I got taken. There's about three years difference between my, me and my youngest half sister. Oh. And then five years. But, you know, they'd take me to... Uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania, uh, yeah, no, that's and that. to Gettysburg, yep, yep, and uh, every place. And I remember us all going out one day. Well, their kids were spread out over twenty years too. Like they had five, five girls, and the last one was finally a boy. So I just thought, you know, they were good Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> five girls and one boy. One boy. The last one was a boy, and there's twenty years difference between our ages. Wow. She had, my birth mother had three children. Oh, your, your, your birth mother? She had, after you, she had? Yeah, she had, she had six, six children, five girls and one boy when she married Uncle Bill, who I called Uncle Bill. <laughs> wow. You know, they had a wonderful relationship. And, um, but he didn't even know that I was her, her daughter until until I was about 12 years old. And then my birth father was trying to blackmail her to... <laughs> so she finally told him, but she was afraid to tell him before because she was afraid he'd leave her, you know? And he says, that was crazy, you know? And if he'd have known, you know, I've got pictures of me on, you know, when I was like six months old or maybe a little bit older on his shoulder, you know, the man she ended up marrying. He act she actually met him when she was coming to visit me before they'd signed the adoption agreements and everything. He was a Greyhound bus driver just out of the war. Oh. And so wow. it was uh it, you know, it was quite a quite a story. What what, what was he trying to blackmail her out of? Was it money well, or No, see and she he well, he liked her. He, uh, who knows what he wanted? I never did want anything to do with him, you know, because he was a he was he was a piece of work, huh? Yeah, they met. They actually had gone to high school together in Pennsylvania, but they didn't date or anything. They mm. knew each other, but didn't have anything to do with each other. And then he was in the Marines and stationed in Hawaii. And she joined the waves and was sent over there on to Ooh, do the something. Wave, what was the waves? Women something, you know, the, the way there was. Like, uh, oh, oh, is there not nothing on the west side? Like, uh, you know, was the. Like the, Bob Hope, what was Bob, Bob Hope? Was women the, women in the military, they did a lot of secretarial work. Okay, and okay, everything. okay, okay. You had the men. waves were part of. I don't know. I, I, since it was waves, I said Navy. I can't re I don't know what the initials were. But they had waves and wax mm -hmm. were the two women's groups back then. So it was a support group for the military. Yeah. The war, the war effort at that yeah, time. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. well, what, what, what year was that? That was like... That was like... Well, I was born in um, in 46. So, so I think she was over there... Well, 
you know, I mean, they still had things, you know, because Pearl Harbor was there and everything. Mm -hmm. They had still had things going on, mm -hmm. you know, support groups and all and, and a lot of military, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but she she was she was sent over there, her and another friend, uh, you know, on a on a ship and, you know, to do secretarial work and mm -hmm. everything there at the at the base there. And and they run into each other and all and and started dating but it was sort of a quiet thing it, it was really because it ended up he was married oh what was, what was, what was, so his wife was stateside over here mm -hmm. he was married yeah and and she fell she fell madly in love with him he was going to leave his wife oh they always gonna leave their yeah, wife but he didn't want to ask her for a divorce or anything and then her take off on him. So that was his story. That's what I said. He was a real piece of you know what. <laughs> she she ended up being sent home from what well, she ended up getting pregnant because that's what that's you know she came home not, you know, from Hawaii. She was sent home first. None of her family knew and she except her parents. Her parents ended up knowing, but she had five siblings too. Mm -hmm. It was kept a secret until she was in her 60s. They never knew about me. Wow. And because um, they they sent her away to have the baby and everything. Yeah, that, that's what they did back yeah, then. Yeah, and that's how, she, that's how she ended up meeting my parents. I think she, she was in sort of a, I don't know, it wasn't a convent, but a home for unwed mm -hmm. mothers mm -hmm. or something like that. And I guess put an ad in the paper up there for a place to live when it came time for her to give birth. And my parents answered the ad. Wow. And uh, so I was actually born in the house they lived in. And Mid, um, um, a midwife? Um, what do you call it? Mid, mid, no, mid, I don't, well, what, my what mother had, my, my adopted mother had a friend that was a nurse, but okay. the, the, the local doctor, you know, oh, okay, Dr. Okay. Kimmel. Yeah, you know, you did, you know, things were a lot better. Yeah, they had local doctors. They didn't have like yeah. all this stuff we yeah, got today. Oh, yeah, now you got a doctor and they're gone, you know, within, you had doctors that were your doctor from from your infancy he, to your he knew, he knew every, they knew everybody in the community right right yep. right so it was so it was a lot different but um yeah you know so 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 she would go after i was born it was about i guess in 60 miles or something from where she she, she was from the harrisburg pennsylvania area my mm -hmm. parents were from a little town i guess the Sort of Allentown was sort of in between, if you know anything about yeah, no, I was in Delaware. Was, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, my godparents were in uh, Dover. Delaware. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that's that's yeah, I, I was, which I only knew as a kid. Otherwise, I never knew them. Yeah, I was in Bear. Well, we're, we're right next to Wilmington. Okay. Yeah. And um, so uh, I. Well, that's, she, Dover. Dover, to, that's, that's the Air Force base down there. What? Dover, that's the Air Force base. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah I Dover. really didn't know much about yeah, Delaware, yeah, yeah, except yeah, we went there one time when, you know, my, you know, like I said, my parents, you know, I was like one year old when my parents Yeah, that's Dover, uh, Dover Air Force every base. every summer when my mother, when my birth mother was able, they both ended up having, you know, uh, physical problems. My dad, actually, right after we moved here, he had, he was quite a bit older than my birth mother. When they adopted me, she was 40. My my birth mother was, not right. my birth, my adopted parents, she was 42, and he was 60. Whoa. Well, that's I was back then, yeah. Yeah, you know, she, he was, he was 16 years older than she was. Yeah, that's the way it was back then. And uh, he had been married before, but his wife was killed. Uh, in an automobile accident, and he had one daughter who she was she was grown up then, but uh, you know so I you know I was basically raised as an only child, a really spoiled brat. Ah. Yeah, but anyway, ah. that's, that's another story. Dang, Miss Miss, Miss Mary, you 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 would you would never. Now, did they have any? But did they have any besides adopting you? Did they have any kids? <laughs> No, my, well, my dad had one. He had one day, you know, but she was older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you grew up 
So you grew up. I grew up in Florida all by myself, not really yeah, well, having any siblings. Wow. And, and then my, my parents, my dad had a heart attack. And, but and, you got a, you have a sister here though. I've got well, they're half sisters. Yeah, okay, that's All right. Because right, I remember yeah. we talked about the truck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, three of them. Yeah, okay. three of them have moved here now, okay. and another one's getting ready to retire. She's re, she she's supposed to move here next year, so then there'll be, well, there'll be there's two there's two here. She'll be the third one. Yeah, the two oldest ones are down here. One lives in the villages, and the mm. other one lives in. Spruce Creek or just north of, north of there, Delaware community. We're not, we're not really close. Oh, y'all not close? No. I mean, they helped me out when I had my Yeah, brain. I remember, because like, I, yeah. I remember seeing them when I passed by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, them. you know, they were really good. But that Joe wanted one, 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 one to shake you out that trunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I haven't talked to him since yeah, you then. Talk he, to him? he used to call me once in a while, and you know, when Patty, because Patty, she, she's, she's, um, She's five years younger than me, and she likes to travel a lot. And she has a daughter up in Pennsylvania. She goes up, they go up every. She goes up every about three times a year back to Pennsylvania, and sees the younger siblings. and And her daughter lives in Philadelphia, but uh, but but we're not. Y'all that close, huh? Yeah. Dang. So did you have? Did you, 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 you did you have any kids yourself? Is Mary. You never had. Well, I, I, I don't have any kids either. So no, what can I, I say? Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I didn't. You know. I didn't want kids. Oh, you didn't want kids. No. I think it was part of it was my upbringing. You know. And, wow. And I was, I was, I was spoiled. I was selfish. I wanted everything was about Mary. <laughs> but 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 there, there was a... you didn't know. Well, and again, I, I was very controlling too, and I was afraid if I had a kid and that kid wasn't perfect, you know, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I, I was just about to ask you, do, do you regret now? Not have you? You don't regret? No. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you know. Sometimes I do. But then I say to myself, ah, maybe it was a good thing. Yeah. No, not in today's world. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would say. Now that I think about it, you know, maybe that was a good thing. I just couldn't. I just couldn't take paying child support. Or I could. <laughs> I could take. I don't know if people do it. I don't, I don't know if people get. I don't know how people. I, do I don't know if people. Period, you know, all, all the single parents. I, 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 I mean, if people that don't pay child support, especially <laughs> men <laughs> that don't pay child support, but, but, how but, these women make it? I don't. I, Ms. Mary, I I don't I, I go to the grocery store when I go to Aldi's over here. I have a little my little bag. And obviously, be with big old shop crosses, but I be like, how? I'm looking at every can, every price, and I'm looking to be with a problem. Like, how, how do they do it? How do you? And just all the responsibilities with happened. To, oh God! You know. Oh God! It's like my dad. You Are know, you... he he stayed home, and my mother worked, but. But she only had, you know, menial jobs because they both were only had like eighth grade educations. They both had to end up, you know, helping support their families, you know, when they were kids and quit school and yeah. go to work or work on the farm or something. And, you know, that's the way it was back then in, yeah. in some places, you know, but, uh, but, 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 you know, so my mother worked hard, you know, and, and she had health problems. She was a heavy smoker. And mm. and uh, I think toward the end of her life, she actually became diabetic. She died when she was 62. So, so she probably was heavy set? And off and on, you know, not not real heavy, but, you know, she, you know, in my younger years, she was, you know, let's say she was a sturdy woman. <laughs> But she wasn't what you call, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see some of these people, yeah. and I wonder how they get around, you know. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be sitting on my front gate, I'll be, I'll be thinking the same thing. I'll be looking at some of these people, man. I'll be like, man. I mean, I'll be thinking myself, Miss Mary, Miss Mary, don't you, don't you have to recognize when you get into that point? I mean, you just don't get like, like well, that. Well, the thing about it is, I notice when when I put on a few pounds, I. It, it's it was an effort you know this goes back years ago i'm like well i'd never go out and buy bigger clothes that was one of the things well finally i did one time that was bad because then you get comfortable and you grow into those you know that's what you never do don't grow into your clothes you know buy clothes but 
you know, I'm like bending over and I'm like, how do these people bend over and put their damn <laughs> shoes on? Tie their shoe like That's why I get out here every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, like yeah, my yeah, my yeah, look, my what look. You know what I did? Yeah, yeah I'm I, on the golf cart right now, man, but every morning I, I, can, I can go true. work out. Yeah. I yeah, can work uh, out. Well, I got a big total, brand new total gym in the garage that I haven't gotten rid of any furniture in the house, so I can figure out where I'm going to sit it. But are you going to use this mirror? You in your yard all the time. Why do you need that? You, 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 you. I'm not doing what I used to. I used to move these blocks all the time and pressure clean them, and I keep on putting it off now because, oh, you know, I'm good for about half a day now of work, and used to be I could go all day. And then the stupid guys came and trimmed my tree. I wanted to thin out, <laughs> and they came. I should have said, do not trim unless I'm home. Well, you know, I wanted it thinned out. I wanted some of those yicky branches that, fall, you know, are dead up there and fall mm -hmm. down and cross over. Well, you know, figuring they usually come when I'm here. Well, one morning I go out, and by the time I got back, and they had cut the easy stuff over the daggum driveway, the lower stuff that was keeping this shade. Now the sun starts coming in here all afternoon. I used to be able to work out here all day long because there was shade, because the, the sun comes over, you know, from mm -hmm. there in the afternoon, the hottest sun. I, I saw my poor car out there. The other, it looks like you moved. Oh, the poor, it's in the sun. <laughs> but it wasn't sitting out there long, man. I had the black car. I did the black car. I was like, you know, I, I, I used to park it right there on the street, but my neighbor across the street, you know, he's an older gentleman. He backed up one day, and I had it sitting sitting out there in front of my next door neighbor house, in front of her house. And when he backed out his driveway, he hit it. He hit, hit, hit the front chrome bumper. Which one did he hit? The, the, the SUV. Yeah, the one I got from you. <laughs> but and I looked at it. He came over. He told me, and I when I looked at it, and and, and, and on the chrome bumper, he had he had just he just was a little dent he put in. So it wasn't bad. Yeah. You you couldn't notice it. But then I say I can't park here no more because he, he he he's an older guy. So then I start parking, you know, up there where, where where you saw it at when I take the black car out. So but but I yeah. Well, the other day was the first time I saw it over there on the side. That yeah, yeah, had, you know, and yeah. I, I had, I had the Maybe black car out, yeah. You had the golf cart in the driveway. Yeah, yeah. I, I went yeah. down to Tampa yesterday, so I had the black oh, car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had the black car sitting out. But, but when I, you know, you know, I don't drive that often. So when I came back this afternoon, I get it off the grass real quick. And I'm kind of nervous because, you know, people you come around that corner there and around that roundabout, I'd be nervous. I'd be like, oh, man. You never know. You, you know, these, you know, these, these people are like, you know, they, I mean, they, they, they it's, I mean, it's they, amazing. We don't have more accidents in here than we do. Especially I sit right there on, 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 yeah, on yeah. the corner right there. Miss Mary, I see it all the time. They come around there and they're like, okay, who's going to go? You Who, know? But, but some of them don't even come around the roundabout. Some of, some of them come up from, from um, the main entrance mm -hmm. and they don't go around the roundabout. They just make that left. Mm -hmm. And people come in this way. I say it's only a matter of time for somebody to come this way and they make that, that left. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there looking. I said, I'm smoking. I'm like, the mirror's only a matter of time. Only a matter. I'm surprised there ain't been, ain't been more accidents, really. I know. Sitting out there, but, you know, but no, no, no. It's just a uh, Memorial Day, Miss Veteran, Miss Mary. I went out there. I like I said, I had a cigar with, with the veterans out there. I said, I'm going to cruise to the neighborhood. And... <laughs> yeah, man, you know. It, it's like last year, May was just a beautiful month. Mm -hmm. I remember it was cooler in the nights, you it know. Was hot. Oh, God, it was hot. And but this year, you know, and then of course, then when summer came, we really had one of the hottest summers I can ever remember yeah. in Florida. And and now this month, and lack of rain and everything, yeah. and it's it's like ugh, I go out and water my plants in the back every morning. And so it's gonna be a hot summer probably. Oh, uh, well, I'm afraid the way it looks yeah. right now, you know. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be because I, I know like last year my air condition had to have a brand new air condition put mm. in, and I went without air condition. I think I think it was like a week. Look, yeah, look, 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 look! My my partner gave me this this window, this big air conditioning unit, but I can only cool just the bedroom. Yeah. But uh, I mean, but it, it, it was it miserable. It gets scary because you never know with it. That's you know, I think mine's about seven years old now, eight years old, but. I know my neighbors. She's got the same unit, and, you know, and she's had several problems with it. But yeah, you know, I got a whole new system inside yeah. out. Everything brand new now. Yeah, you, one thing you don't want the AC. You know, and it's it's crazy because people. You know, I grew up without air conditioning down in Palm Beach, but when you're on the coast, it's cooler because you got the water. Right. And usually the breeze was coming from the east. Here, the breeze is normally coming from the west, and it comes bleh, all this yeah. dry air. 
Anyway, uh. Well, what a day, Miss Man. What is Veterans Day? We survived another Veterans yeah. Day, so now uh, I'm getting ready. Two o'clock. The stupid uh, uh, watching the Gators uh, softball. The girls' softball oh, games. Right. Uh, they've got those on, and they won the first one on Friday. They started, and now they're in the Super Regionals, and they won the first one. All they had to do was win yesterday, and they lost. You know what? Uh, last year we went to on our men's trip. We went to. Uh, where do we go? I think last year we went to Columbia, South Carolina, uh -huh. and I got into women's uh, softball. I'm like, this, this is pretty interesting. Yeah. The college girls uh, softball. Well, they had it all day yesterday, yeah. the last two days and on ESPN. It's gotten so popular that it was yeah. on ESPN all day long. Yeah, I One started watching right it. right after the other. The girls start today. I think they're on ESPN. One day they had them on, on two, ESPN two, but they... Their game is at two o'clock today. The other ones on the one on Friday started at eleven, hmm. but but now there's a little bit. Well, two of the teams already went through to the finals. They won the first two, but there were there's like eight super regionals, and the winner of each super regional goes to the College World Series out in Oklahoma. Hmm. Of course, Oklahoma's they won their super regional, and who oh UCLA won theirs. They won their first two games, so they're both already. They'll head to uh, Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma. This oh, what did last this year? Next we, week. We were watching the one last oh, year. Oh, Oklahoma. This they won last year. Yeah, yeah, they won like four out of the last, you know, five years. Or yeah, something I was like, like man, girl, stop! I mean, man, I'm I found myself somebody, watching it. Well, they stole. We were doing real good. We won two. We were the last. Well, until Oklahoma won recently too. We were the last team that won two in a row, national championships. But then Oklahoma stole. And she was from Oklahoma, stole our pitching coach. <laughs> <laughs> Daggum Oklahoma. And the thing is, they got the advantage because it's like home field for them out there. <laughs> you know? Anyway. What's in this, Bear? I don't know. Maybe your battery's going low. Is your battery going low? Yeah. These are brand new batteries. Oh, I know, I, oh, I know what it was. I know what it is. I had it, I, oh, excuse me. I've had it sitting in neutral too long. <laughs> uh, all right, Miss Barry, we have a safe better day. I hope, hope Florida wins. Okay, thank you. All right.